Well, good morning from Flora. I'm talking about New Year's in Albania and uh, especially Tirana. That's where I was this year. And uh, New Year's is very different in Albania than it is most places or any place that I've ever been. It's kind of interesting the way that they see Christmas and New Year's because in communism they couldn't celebrate religious holidays. So they would just celebrate Christmas or yeah, they would celebrate Christmas on New Year's. So although they kind of celebrate Christmas now on Christmas, the big celebration is New Year's. And so you can equate it more to Thanksgiving-ish on, on New Year's Eve. And what I mean by that is like, it seems like uh, it's family, right? A very family holiday. And if you go out onto the street on New Year's Eve, there is nobody. So of course we didn't know this. So we go out onto the street on New Year's Eve. I go out. In fact, my friends were like, hey, let's meet all up at, at 5 p.m., which that was a bit early for New Year's Eve. So I decided, OK, let's do seven. And so we meet up. I, I start walking out around 645 or whatever. Everything is closed. Uh, literally, Bloku, which is always hopping. The bars, the restaurants, everything is closed. And I think wow this is new year's eve what the heck's going on maybe they just don't celebrate it what's you know we heard in the square there's going to be something going on at 10 p.m uh so we're like okay we'll go to that so we find one bar coffee shop open and that's comateti and so we're thinking hey we'll just hang out there you know have some rocky they serve different flavors of Rocky there, which is their uh, traditional alcohol. It's not just from Albania, but very traditional here. So we just sit down and, you know, start drinking that and thinking, oh, maybe at 10 o'clock we'll go over to the main square. Well, our friend Chris Forte, you've probably subscribed and you've seen it, my interview with him on this channel. He does live stream. So we decide we could just watch his live stream and then we'll know what's going on around the town. So at about 10 o'clock, we, we uh, turn on Chris and we watch him go through the streets and they're completely empty. And then he heads over to the square and we see that's pretty empty too. Even though there's a concert going on, uh, there's hardly anybody there. So this is feeling very odd. You know, you're talking about 10, 30, 11 o'clock on New Year's Eve. All the bars and restaurants are closed. The square is almost empty. <laughs> We're thinking, wow, they just, uh, they just stay in for New Year's here. And uh, we couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> so, we know they're doing fireworks in the square at midnight. So we decide, all right, we're just going to head over there. We'll catch the end of this concert, which it starts to pick up a little bit, but it's still not super full. But we decide we're going to head over there anyway. It's pretty cold out, by the way, uh, at least for a Californian. <laughs> so it's in the 30s. And so it's feel a little bit chilly, but we persevere <laughs> and then uh, it's like, uh, I don't know, 48 here right now. It feels pretty good. So, ah, you can see they still have the ice skating going on. All right, so we start heading over there and then we notice literally everyone is heading there. It's like ants going to a piece of sugar, uh, just coming from everywhere and it's pretty fun. And we see everybody coming in. It's like 1145. People are still trying to drive in and it's a uh, bumper to bumper and people are walking in from everywhere. You can tell that people in the cars are just not going to make it. 
Uh, so, <laughs> we end up getting into the square and it is jam packed front to back. Just people everywhere. In fact, I have pictures of that I'll show you. And then they have the countdown and the craziest fireworks I've ever seen. And it's not to say that they were the biggest or the best fireworks but they were so close to you. <laughs> it felt like they were exploding right above your head. And uh, it wasn't far from that. In fact, you could watch the, the video of it. It uh, is... It's quite different. Uh, and so that goes on for, I only did a few minutes of video of that because I wanted to just enjoy the fireworks and not be just videoing the whole thing. Uh, so once that was over with, the people just left. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, uh, 1 10 a.m. And literally all of those people who just came in for the fireworks just took off. And so they're, they're leaving from every orifice of the square. And we decide to stick around just for a little bit to see what's going on. And by 20 after the square is mostly empty. So what, a, what an experience. So then we're thinking, what's going on? Uh, did everybody just come out for that? So we decided to go back over to Comatetti and they're asking people if they have reservations. And I'm thinking, whoa, what's going on? So we walk around to some of the other bars and restaurants and lo and behold, they're all open and you can't get in without reservations. And this is right about 1 a.m. They're starting to open up. So New Year's Day, 1 a.m. is when everything starts uh, for their New Year's celebration, other than the fireworks in the square. So that if you are here for New Year's, you might want to try and make a reservation somewhere. We went uh, back to Comatetti because we had been there for so long. They just let us in, gave us a table, but unfortunately they were playing some music that I would have loved any other time but New Year's, but Let's just say uh, John Lennon's Imagine on the guitar, uh, acoustic, that type of thing was, was being played. And it was being done well. It's just, you know, it's 1.32 uh, a.m. in the morning on New Year's Day. Not exactly keeping us up. Uh, one of the people we were with was getting really hungry, hadn't eaten all day. So we decided to go uh, walk to try and find some food. Nowhere can you find food. So this is one of the things I want to tell you. Stock up before New Year's. Because everything is closed New Year's Eve day and New Year's Day. 
Now you can find some things, uh, but it's not super easy. So I wouldn't advise it. Just keep some stock. And uh, we, we walked around all of, all of Bloku looking for food, nothing open. Uh, one of our friends noticed that some guys were eating uh, in one of the bars and kind of poked his head in. <laughs> they jumped up and gave him a beer. They're like, come on in, you know, uh, free beer and, you know, whatnot. Super nice. And he's like, no, we just needed some food for our friend. And uh, we followed in shortly after. So he invited us all in, gave us Rocky and beer. And uh, he noticed that, uh, you know, one of the people with us was very hungry. And he said, oh, come on in, we'll make you food. And he jumped back into the grill and, and made food for us and a whole plate of food with all different things on it kind of a Mediterranean plate. And uh, we had an amazing time. He uh, was singing uh, American songs and Albanian songs, and we just had a really great time. Uh, I'll leave the, the place we were at in the, the description and hopefully pop it up here. So I want to give them a shout out. Uh, very fun, very inviting, and it really was the perfect way to kick off a New Year's in Albania for us. Very different than anything else I've ever experienced. And, uh, you know, we could have easily have gotten reservations or something and then just partied the night away just like anybody else does. But instead, we got more of an authentic Albanian New Year, which I would have taken any day. And uh, that's that. So I... Uh, I hope through this story, not only has it been a little fun, it would be educational to teach you about what you should do on New Year's here. It's very different. Uh, I wasn't here in Flora, but I imagine it was quite a bit less exciting. Maybe, you know, head into Toronto for New Year's, I would say. And uh, if I think of anything else, I'll just put it in the next video. This is just kind of an off the cuff thing. I just wanted to let you guys know how it was and uh i'm back in vlora and it's absolutely gorgeous and uh the right hi. amount of time hi. hi the right amount of time in the city and uh now i'm back at the beach all right bye bye